All right, let's create our very first online section website with the actual Webflow. If you don't have an account, I'm going to leave you the link to down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free using Webflow. It's going to be really easy to actually create an actual account, a custom website using the Webflow in 2024. Today, what I'm going to be doing here, if you are a beginner, you want to use actually stuffed cold templates. So with the link that I just sent you down below in the description, it's going to be asking you to create an actual email as well as a passcode. Once you have just created an actual account, what you want to do is to go for a new site. Inside Webflow, as you can see, we are now able to select a way to get started as an actual blank site or as an actual template. What we can do and totally suggest to is to use an actual template. It's going to be much more faster to get started. Now here into the upper side, what I wanted to do is to focus only into the free bosons. So you don't have to worry because there is actually a lot of elements that we can use for our actual custom website. So here what I wanted to do is to choose a template to start from scratch. If you prefer completing a creative control, then choose an actual template of a blank new suit. But in this case, what I want to be doing here is to choose something that aligns with my brand. So I'm going to go for preview this template and choose the site name. In this case, it should be a portfolio of online media. And I create my actual site. Now, this is the part which you wanted to customize your website design. Using the Webflow Intuitive Visual Editor, you wanted to customize your website design to reflect your brand identity. You can adjust the layout, you can adjust the colors, you can adjust the fonts, and more with ease of use. So to get started here, you might be seeing that we have a full new section where we can just get started creating a site. You can change color and font classes directly here into the right part. Here into the right part, what it can do is to change the width, the radio, the position, and the typography that appears here into my actual store. Even I can change the effects, the opacity, the outline, and much more elements of my actual element. Now here, for example, you can go here inside Got It, and I can select the element that I wanted to change. For example, here it says Hello, it says Yours, I'm going to go for Video. And now here into double click to introduce yourself and tell the world what you do. Let's say here, we are focused on making videos for the world. If I clicked into a new navigation bar into the left part, you can see that we have elements that we can edit as I just clicked in them. For example, the hero is the actual template of all the stuff that appears here. For example, as you can see, here's my slider. And here I have something really easy to show to them. So for example, I'm going to scroll all my way up and I choose this new instant section. So this is an actual property that I can just change to configure my website element. And if I clicked into this element, I can just delete or edit the stuff that only appears into the upper side. For example, here into my portfolio, this is an actual image. Now this image, what I can do is to change, of course, and replace for the actual logo that we currently have. So in this case, what I want to be doing here is to upload my actual logo. Once your logo has now been uploaded, what I can do is now to make the replacement. And here the height should be auto. So as you can see, this is how it should be looking our actual logo. I'm going to try to make this a little bit much more smaller and try to align this a little bit more with the actual size. So as you can see now, it looks much more interesting, right? Here into the navigation menu, if I clicked in here, you can see that we have more elements to add it here into the navigation menu. For example, here have the linked navigation of the home, the about, and the contact. So what I can do is to click into some element that I wanted to change. And let's say here into the home, let's say that I just go for, there we go. We have now added the actual header. We have now added our menu bar, and now I can just edit the, the actual body. Here into number one, what I can do, let's focus into style. And here, what I wanted to do here is to try to change the actual font. Let's go for something much more interesting, for example, this. If I don't want to see this class, I can remove this so I no longer see this actual paragraph. And I do exactly the same thing with the elements that I do or do not want to see. Now, scrolling a little bit down, what I can do is to fit or change the images here into the backside of my image. Just focus into the style, and you can see that we have a background image. What I can do is to choose and rename this class or to change how it actually looks my actual class. So lastly, I wanted to focus now into the folder. When you finish when actually finding everything you are looking for here into your store, let's go into published. Into the upper side, you have the staging. 
Now here's going to be really important to choose the staying of this actual element that we have already been uh, a domain, of course, totally for free. So that means that the HTML, the SC5, and all the elements should be staging of public state already been with this actual element that was created for us, which in this case should be the portfolio of the online media webflow.ai. So as you can see, here it actually looks uh, really simple, all the elements that we just added directly inside our actual products. So I can edit the pages, I can edit much more elements as I am just getting started here with the actual webflow. And you can configure, of course, the website settings, including the CEO settings, the custom domains, and the responsive settings to ensure your website looks great directly into your device. Just uh, go directly here into your dashboard and go directly into your actual store. Go for the three dots and go for the general elements. So what I can do is to change the icon, the web lift, the localization, even I can have an actual website passcode, the site access, CEO plans, forms, library, even funds, and so much more elements. So once you're satisfied with your website, it's time to publish it. Just simply with the publish button to the Webflow editor to make your website live. And lastly, if you have a custom domain, you can connect it with Webflow website by following the instructions provided into the Webflow dashboard. As we saw into the designer of the Webflow, you go directly into the custom to domain. After launching your actual website, what you can do now is just to track all the performance of the update as you need it. This includes the adding new content, optimizing your actual site for the CEO, and improving more user experience. So guys, you have now uh, successfully learned how to create a custom professional website using Webflow. There's a lot of elements to cover now here into Webflow, but I believe you have now the basics to get started totally for free. So with that being said, guys, Thank you so much for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with others. So stay tuned for more valuable tutorials from online media. Until next time.